Okay. I mean, just moving on to uh, our, our next topic, which is dermal fillers. Um, and I'll start with you, Tracy, because I know you do a lot of these types of treatments. But how young is too young? Oh, that, that's a really difficult question. I mean, my, you know, there's the ethics and the, the morality of treating people that are too young, and I will, can only give you my opinion on that. I think that I often turn very young people away uh, from treatment. I think it's getting them onto a bandwagon. They simply cannot get off. I take everybody individually on that one. So, so Deborah, in terms of your readers, I mean, do you, do you see some of the stories coming out that people are having treatments too early? I would say our readers, they're more and more readers in their 20s are asking us, can I have fillers at this age? And having interviewed many doctors, they would say more 35 onwards. I mean, I would suggest even later than that because as Tracy said, once you've started, it's very hard to go back. You're not really, you haven't really got to the point where you know, where you understand yourself. Yeah, I mean, Craig, I'm sure you've got a, a strong point on this. My view is I've changed enormous. I'm changing every year in my life and I'm learning so much. And so for me, you know, I wouldn't do, for me, I wouldn't do anything permanent, you know, that's going to impact me, you know, unless I've really thought it through. And everybody has different levels of maturity. We meet incredible these days with the internet and media stimulation. You know, an eight-year-old, ten-year-old, I certainly can't compete with my kids with what they know right now. Nowhere near. Yeah, Tracy, I, mean, you want to push yeah, off I was this. just listening to what you said there. The only thing I pick up on that is that these treatments aren't permanent. Not, not sure. that are done by professional, ethical uh, people in the UK. I can only comment on the UK market. I think that if I wanted to counter-argue that, I'd say some of these young people can end up sourcing treatments that aren't safe because if people in the UK refuse them treatment, they sometimes go and source an unsafe treatment abroad. Rather than saying, go away, don't be so stupid, I'm not interested in you. We have to have a balanced discussion with them about why we're recommending perhaps not at the moment. Because we can open another can of worms if we're not careful. Sure, that sounds like good advice. So thank you very much. It was a really balanced view on some quite controversial topics, so thank you.